Stanley and his sister Gibbs, to my fellow yokemen of the gospel, officers, members, Christian friends, and the mysteries of order. We count the blessing this afternoon as well as a privilege for us to meet here on this August occasion. Past that first lady's 21st year appreciation. So we thank God for Pastor Gibbs, God, yeah. Gibbs, amen, amen. dynamic preacher, amen. 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 amen, good friend of mine, amen. we have our fun together, we laugh and talk, That's enjoy, right. amen. Amen. amen, all in good fun and That's good right. things, yeah. amen. Amen. amen, I want to commend you, uh, grace and truth, for taking this time out, That's right. Amen. to say to your pastor, we appreciate you right. and the work that you are doing here. Right. Amen. 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 Uh, pastor Gibb, I've known Pastor Gibb for some years now. Right. And uh, the first time he heard me preach, <laughs> he and uh, Pastor Jerry Bethel uh -huh. came to Emmanuel for a funeral service. Uh -huh. And uh, I preached a, a message and when I got through and walked out the door and went to the hearse, he and Pastor Bethay came to me. He said, boy, we know you can preach like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. From then on, we, we kicked it off. That's right. Amen. It's, it's, it's just a joy to be around Pastor Gibbs. Amen. 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 He doesn't change. Amen. He's the same every time you see yes. him. Amen. Amen. Certainly we're grateful to him and to Sister Tammy. Amen. 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 Uh, I will say to uh, Sister Tammy, I know pastor wives go through it. But I want to say to uh, Sister Tammy this afternoon, daughter, be of good cheer. Thy faith has made thee whole. Amen. If you get with me, you might do a little something here. If you don't help me, be a little while. Amen. Amen. From the book of Jeremiah, the 32nd chapter and the 27th verse. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 27 we find these words. Right. Behold I am the Lord the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Hallelujah. Amen. I will preach that known from this subject asking hard things. detectives of London's elite police force uh -huh. known as Scotland Yard. Yeah. Uh -huh. Holmes was said to be such a good detective that he could crack any case regardless to his difficulty. Uh -huh. When given the case, his usual response was elementary, old chap. Uh -huh. Elementary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No matter how hard the others found the case to be, Holmes always viewed it as elementary uh -huh. and usually found the clues that solved the case. Yes, yes. Have you ever had a problem that's a hard case to crack? Uh -huh. A problem whose solution is so severe or evasive that even the legend of our history, such as Holmes, would be stumped by them. That's right. This is the kind of problem that forces you to simply throw up your hands and your feet and give up because it's just too hard. We wrestle with problems daily and sometimes we conclude that they cannot be solved. Marriages are dissolved. Friendships are ended. 
business ties are severed, campaigns are dropped, dreams are dashed, and hopes are withered. Many times because we have tried everything we know. And it is just too hard. As Christians, we know that we serve a God who is a problem solver. We know that when we have tried everything else, we can usually find an answer if we just try God. If you have come to a point where you don't know what to do yourself, we recommend Jesus. There is nothing too hard for him to do. Have we got a witness? Now our text that new consider Jeremiah as he prophesied about the upcoming destruction of Jerusalem uh -huh. at the hands of the Babylonians. Yeah. Uh -huh. He had been placed under house arrest by King Zedekiah yeah. because of his prophecy, but still continued to tell the king that Jerusalem would be taken right. and that the king himself would be taken back to Babylon. Yeah. Uh -huh. For raising the brash possibility that Jerusalem could be defeated, uh -huh. Zedekiah attempted to silence the man of God by placing him in prison. Uh -huh. His crime was to suggest that there was a power that could cause the fall of Jerusalem, yeah. which set invisible overlooking a low and vulnerable plain. Uh -huh. Jerusalem we stood fortified by walls of stone and yes. secured by armies of soldiers. Uh -huh. Jerusalem, which was fabled to be impregnable and even safe from sea because of its underground channels that capped the water outside its walls. Yeah. Uh, to raise the prospect that there was a power that could topple this great city was worthy of jailing yeah. in the mind of King Zedekiah. All right. All right. But in response, God himself speaks in chapter 32 uh -huh. and lists off the sins of Judah and scoffs at the king's confidence yeah. in his great city yeah. by asking a question in verse 27, is there yeah. anything yeah. too hard for me? Yeah. 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 Right. Can Jerusalem build walls so high that I cannot scale right. them? Yeah. Can you build defenses so secure that I cannot breach them? Can you protect yourself so well that I cannot get to you? Is there anything too hard for God? Well, Jerusalem soon found the answer to this question. God helped the Babylonians to invade the city. The temple was desecrated. The walls were destroyed. And despite its towering military defenses, it fell into the hands of those used by God to bring them down. All right, all right. As they marched in defeat with chains upon their legs, they probably heard God's question ring in their ears. Is it anything too hard for me? I hear the question being asked today, is there anything too hard for God? Yeah. Yes, I found that the one of the unique characteristics of the nature of God is that he specializes yeah. in handling hard questions, yeah. fulfilling hard promises, yeah. and granting hard requests. Yeah. Yes, hard questions. Uh -huh. Nicodemus was troubled by a hard question. Uh -huh. He asked, how can a man be born again? Be born again? Yeah. Now, it was hard for man, but it was easy yeah. for the Lord. Yeah. He answered a spiritual question with a spiritual answer. Wow. Except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, yeah. he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Yeah. Yeah. Moses was troubled by a hard question. Yeah. He asked, who shall I say sent me? Uh -huh. yeah. It was a hard question for man to answer, but it was easy for God who said, tell him, I am that I am. God help us today. Every now and then, even the strongest child of God comes up with a hard question that only God can answer. We should be sure that what God promises. Yeah. Listen, 
us every day will be sunshine. Right. God did not promise that a little rain wouldn't fall. Amen. God did not promise that it would always be up and never down. Yeah. God never promised that it would always be victory and never defeat. Yeah. He promised that whether sunshine or rain, uh -huh. he would never leave me Amen. alone. Amen. Amen. And we pray, go ye therefore and teach all nations, yeah. baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Teach them to serve all things whatever I commanded you and Lord with you always, yeah. yeah. even yeah. to the end. Yeah. For there is 
do nothing too hard for God. God promised Joshua that once in the promised land that he would deliver them and give them the victory. Well, it was a hard promise for man to fulfill. But it was elementary father law. When the people marched around the wall for the seventh time and the trumpet sounded walls that looked like a hard thing turned out to be an easy thing in the hand of the Lord. Well, uh, Joshua asked uh, for another hard thing later. Sarah, if I had uh, a little more sunshine, I could win this battle. Stop its rotation uh, and call the sun to hang uh, in the noonday sky. Yeah. Well, uh, it was a hard thing for man, uh, but an uh, elementary for the Lord. Yeah. You don't help me. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, God promised Abraham uh, he would give him a child uh, despite his uh, advancing age. Yeah. Because she too thought that, that this was too hard, even uh, for the Lord. But uh, when Isaac was born, uh, his birth proved that God can uh, fulfill uh, our promises. Yes, Lord, uh, every child of God should be encouraged to know that uh, if God promises something, uh, you will receive it. And the people made him mad one day. And Jeremiah closed up his Bible and said, I'm not going to speak the word in the Lord's name. You don't help me. He went home. And why do you get home?
Come here, Johnny. 